takes me to you. Well, I want to see if we can make this work. <coughs> Excuse me. My Sony Handycam is not working. I have another camera that's actually a <coughs> digital camera that has video mode. Ran into another issue. D drive on my computer that has all my videos crash. Lost everything. And was having trouble and maybe won't even be able to load this up. I'll try to get it on the C drive and see if it'll work. Uh, foot. Yep, still got the cast. Go to the hospital Monday. They'll cut it off and treat the foot. They say it's getting better. So there's my stool to keep from going crazy sitting in the house. I've been sitting on a stool working on the front bus beam. Um, got the, of course, the front stabilizer bar on. This, uh, this took some figuring out on how to get that installed with the new bracket. Uh, has new king and link pins. I have to get some other cap screws or better bolts. I'm getting not enough thread engagement, but that will hold it together. I have the dust caps on. Uh, all the grease zerks. New grease zerks. And grease zerks. This is <laughs> the bracket that I welded temporarily to the lift table and then bolted the beam on upside down. See so you. With it on the table, uh, of course, I showed in another video. I got the new Pitman arm pin and bushing in. Um, I've got the steering dampener that's bolted in place. And of course, here's the other end with the new link and king pins. I have Two other buses. I know my Bondo Condo camper from wiggling the front end. The kingpins are gone and Link. So I ordered two sets. I get them from Wolfburg West. Uh, they're pricey. I mean, here's the kingpin set. And you can get an idea what they look like. So... I'll have those to put on. Of course, it's a trick getting them apart. I had to get a machine and make a persuader. Huge punch. Plus, on one I did a puller like Musty One did. And then he took his king pins apart. Link pins, they went together. Uh, pretty good. Got the key measurements. And... You know, did the key measurements. I showed that in another video to get the right shim combination. So, even though I have new shocks, when I put them on, they kind of get in the way when you, uh, when we get to the point of mounting the, the beam on the bus, like this bolt here gets blocked. <clears throat> but, I'm going to just temporarily, I mean, bolt everything on here, mainly for everything being in one place. I need to find the back plates. I bought new wheel cylinders. The back plates, I believe, will clean up. But, you know, I took the back plates off, over, well, 10 years ago when we brought the bus home. And putting this all together, even though with the tie rods, drag link, everything, even though it's thumb tight, it's to keep 
everything together in one spot so I'm not hunting through boxes now you know it, there's I guess in one way I'm blessed and another way I'm cursed you know if you have one beetle one project you keep things organized and uh, and well organized I guess <clears throat> but I enjoy working on them you know it's it's <laughs> I used to say it's kind of like okay cutting the grass you know some people enjoy going out mowing the grass I like puttering around with old Volkswagens <clears throat> now that I'm reaching that age where who knows if I'm going to be around next month uh, for the sake of my son too I need to try to focus on if I can one vehicle to try to get it pretty much done or complete and next year it will be my 67 bus